Well, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. It's great to have you. Today we're gonna to start off with a mopping test with the iRobot BravaJet 240. Now, this is the first mopping robot that I've done a test on, so this test that we're setting up here will set a precedent for all of the future tests for the foreseeable future. Uh, and I've decided today to use three different things to test. Um, and I tried to use them things that you might find on your floor in your kitchen so that the tests are realistic. So I started the test off, uh, and we'll see here in a minute, with uh, dried up coffee. I used three milliliters of dried up coffee in a four square foot area here in my dining room. And uh, that will be our first test that we'll see. And as you can see, uh, we're getting started here in just a second. Uh, I did speed up the test uh, video just a little bit so you wouldn't have to suffer through waiting. It did take about five minutes to cover the entire uh, four square foot area. Um, in this first test here, this is obviously a fairly easy test. There's nothing very difficult. It's essentially uh, <clears throat> no more than colored liquid at that point. But I um, wanted to kind of set a, a baseline. So anyway, um, this uh, these tests I used with the iRobot, I used spot cleaning mode in them. Uh, which does like a four by four square foot area uh, for spot cleaning, which ended up being actually just perfect for the little Brava jet here uh, to set up a, a cleaning mode since this doesn't have smart navigation. Uh, I can't exactly draw a zone around an area. So I used the spot cleaning mode. And as you can see here, it did a really good job. I was not able to detect uh, that it left anything behind after the test. The floor was clean and spotless after it ran through this test. So our next test now we're starting on is the uh, dried up Coca-Cola. Now this one should prove to be a little bit more difficult just because Coca-Cola has a lot of sugar in it. I did not use the sugar free or the Coke Zero, I used the regular Coke. And uh, so that did prove to be a little bit more difficult. It, uh, uh, it did a really good job of getting it up off of the tile. Uh, as you can see here, it is cleaning it. And uh, <laughs> in the end, um, we ended up picking up about, I'd say about 95% of the Coke. There were a few little spots that it did miss. Um, I don't think that it missed it going over it. It is doing the thorough mopping cleaning pattern. Uh, by the way, uh, th these mopping tests, I used um, 100 degree tap water uh, in these, uh, all three of these tests. So uh, they tell you to put warm water and they're not hot. So that is, I made sure that all of the tests were using 100 degree mop water. So this. This last test here, I did dried up grape jelly. Uh, and as you can see here, um, I used one half of a uh, table, uh, excuse me, one half of a teaspoon of dried up grape jelly. Now I used my, um, I used a hair dryer uh, to make sure, heat gun actually, to make sure all of these tests were thoroughly dry on the tile before I ran the test. So this one proves to be more difficult of a test. You can see it's doing a, a decent job. Um, here with it, it's not picking it all up. I'd say it probably got roughly about maybe 20% off. It's kind of hard to tell here in the test, but afterwards I looked and um, it basically it just kind of skimmed the top of it off and left a decent amount there. So it didn't do so great with the dried up jelly test. Anyway, so that is my mopping test with the iRobot BravaJet 240 and more tests to come. I'll do a final review on this guy. I appreciate you watching. Everybody out there, take it easy.